A E M Toronto Stock Exchange and that is Ag Nico Eagle Mines L T D guys and check out this guy Month candle chart Let's start off where's my monthly defined support to scoot that over Here's my monthly defined resistance. There's a few things happening here. Okay. There's this base here. On the weekly, we'll probably have more details to it. We had a breakout last month, confirmed. So June candle, confirmed breakout for this bottom formation. And then there's the implied measure move. What I don't like about this, it's, it has to run through this resistance right here. So if I'd be playing this using my classic uh, chart trading framework, I'd have my implied measure move added to the breakout line. And then I'd look for walls or previous resist or resistance. And I cheat on the target in my favor. I'd lower the target right there. Just to make sure the price action might go in. I don't know how strong that, that support, that resistance is. But just to make sure I get off at the good point below that resistance, maybe below round number 64.95, just under. And sometimes when I reduce that, I really look at my pattern and maybe I say, ah, maybe, maybe I wasn't looking at the correct pattern. Maybe I'm... Uh, I did something wrong, um, misidentified the the pattern. Thus, if you misidentify it, then your implied measure move is different. Your breakout line is different, stuff like that. So, but right now, that's what I see. I see price action going up, at least going to test that line. And who knows after that? Do we go back down here, bigger pattern, or does can break out from a This pattern here going again. I don't like it when it goes through here. So if I'd have a, this pattern here with a breakout candle here and have all that resistance zone. This is the while previous support turn resistance. So we're going to have starting in resistance around here, around the 65 level, all the way up here to the 77 level. So this target, I'd have to lower it right here just to make sure I get off the train at the good, at the good moment before it starts consolidating here maybe sideways pattern then you could always get out wait for that to consolidate and then play if it explodes always get out when it you feel it starts consolidating and usually it's around resistance levels or support levels if you're playing it down and same, same thing as stand right frameworks overlap stand has the same concept uh, trend line violations usually that means the price action is going to go sideways it's the same thing as here why would uh, you have a trend line violation? Well, maybe the price action hit an important resistance and then the price action went sideways. And you had, if you had a trend line violation going like this, if you go sideways enough, you're just going to violate it. And then you get out and you re-rate for a continuation breakout on good volume. All systems, they seem to overlap. Technical analysis, never judge somebody else's. You'll see eventually that a Fibonacci retracement, sometimes they coincide with... Uh, Sometimes they coincide with the, your own targets or they're close to and uh, lots of overlap. All right, guys. So right now for AEM, I have a monthly defined breakout target 65. Or at least we know that's going to be some resistance at 65. Leave that line there. And then... Um, if ever it breaks out eventually on the weekly and we're in, then let's just we could expect a pullback around those levels. What 65 right here. Okay. Come on, weekly chart. Wow, look at that. Nice stage one. Bam, stage two, beautiful. Way above 30 week average. That's the way you want them. 
That's a zero stress stage two, guys. Zero stress. One, two, three. And on the break, on the fourth one, right here, you were taking half your position out. And the remainder half under this pullback here that you would have moved your sell stop because the price action started going back upwards. And if you didn't do that there, at the worst case, 30 when we average you're out. So you would have rolled this. I don't know, there's a breakout candle. This one here, see that crazy volume? It's like two, three, four times the average. You would have entered here, and that's all she wrote, guys. Sideways move, thrust, sideways move, thrust, sideways move, thrust, sideways move, thrust. And boop, boop, and then you're up. All right, all this to bring us into a stage three. Uh, stage four. Stage one. Then out stage uh, stage two, stage three, and stage three. Uh, looked like it was going to be stage four for a while, but we're back above 30 week moving average. We're above the Ichimoku cloud. We just went right through it. See, this candle here is like the first initial burst, not quite the average, uh, twice the average volume of the previous four weeks. Which candle is it? Right here, this one here. Broke out above these two candles. Still some resistance. You're in the Ichimoku cloud defined resistance, slowing you down. Pull back, contracting volume, and now it seems to want to uh, give another go. Here's my weekly defined breakout. Guys, this could be the one. Remember, like I used to say, thrust. The first breakout doesn't quite make it. 30 week average is still starting to get skewed upwards, right? The trend's starting to go upwards. Price action staying above it. Just going to remove the cloud. There was a legend. And what I want for the remainder of the week would be great is volume crazy candle like that I don't know if it's gonna start picking up but if I have volume like that and this candle manages to close up here nice big green candle above that breakout line coinciding with the the monthly candle chart that we know we had a breakout in June and this after that probably go one two two weeks three weeks up hit that 65 where we thought we're, we have a monthly defined resistance and expect the pullback maybe back down to this breakout line here around the 60 level on contracting volume. And that's all she wrote, guys. Anticipate. Anticipate that you might be at the end of the week, you might be entering here, maybe half a position, half a percent. And after that, expect the pullback on the 65 and put another alert here. And if it comes back close to that 60 level, then if it's contracting volume, you could add some more. The other runner half position. Looking nice, guys. Okay, AEM. It's been fun. And uh, I'll keep this chart open for the, the rest of the week. See how it develops. That's it. See ya. <laughs>